But that is one question on functions. Let's look at this. x square plus ax plus b f of x is x square plus ax b. g of x is f of x plus 1 minus f of x minus 1. f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all real x and g of 20 is 72, the smallest possible value of b. This is a brilliant starting point. So let's define g of x first. f of x plus 1 minus f of x minus 1. So this is x plus 1 whole square plus a times x plus 1 plus b minus of x minus 1 whole square plus a times x minus 1 plus b. We subtract one from the other. There will be a plus ax ax that will get cancelled. Plus a minus a subtract that you will get 2a. Plus b minus b this will go off. x square plus 2x plus 1. x square minus 2x plus 1. This will be 4x. We know g of 20 equals 72. Let's plug that in. g of 20 is 4 into 20 plus 2a. This is 72. 4 into 20 is 80. 80 plus 2a is 72. So 2a is minus 8 or a is minus 4. Lovely. Now let's come back to the remaining part of the question. a is minus 4. We want to find the smallest possible value of b. So x square minus 4x plus b. This is f of x. We know f of x is greater than or equal to 0. What does this mean? This means that this number can be expressed as a square plus something, which is when it will be greater than or equal to 0. x square minus 4x plus 4. This can be written as x minus 2 the whole square x square minus 4x plus 4 is x minus 2 whole square. So this will be plus b minus 4 greater than or equal to 0 or b should be at least 4. Find wonderful question. First we find the expression for g of x. Then we plug in g of 20 is 72 and find a. Then come back to this expression. When you go to that expression, we say it's x square minus 4x plus b. We know that's always greater than or equal to 0. So that means it can be reduced as a perfect square, square of a quadratic x minus a whole square, something of that form, plus a positive number or a non-negative number. So we can deduce what b will be by completing the square of that, that expression. So the smallest value b can take is 4.